Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be telling you why this ThinkPad X220 is the perfect budget student laptop in 2020. Let's get started. In 2020, there are many things you should take into account when buying a new laptop for school, including processing power, battery life, durability, and cost. With a few easy upgrades, this X220 can blow away other options like the Surface Pro and MacBook Air for a tenth of the cost. The ThinkPad X220 is a durable, portable machine with a great selection of ports and an excellent keyboard. I got this X220 tablet from a reputable seller on eBay for $105. This laptop rocks a second-gen mobile i7 processor, which can easily handle tasks like rendering 1080p video, compiling code, and running virtual machines. It currently only has 4 GB of RAM, which is inadequate for many tasks, so I'll be upgrading it to 8 gigs later in this video. I'm also going to be installing a SATA 3 SSD to further boost performance. After the upgrades, I'll install Windows 10 and test out some common tasks. Now, we can move on to upgrading the SSD and the RAM. First of all, turn the laptop over and remove the battery by unlocking both locks. Then, we can begin by removing the existing hard drive. The hard drive slot cover can be removed by a single screw. After removing the cover, you can remove the drive by pulling on the black pull tab. Now, remove the caddy screws and separate the drive from the caddy. Then, position the SSD in the caddy and screw in all of the screws. Once the screws are in, we can reinsert the caddy into the drive bay and tuck the pull tab underneath. Lastly, replace the cover by screwing in the retaining screw. Now, we can move on to upgrading the RAM. To upgrade the RAM, begin by removing the RAM door screws. Then, lift up the RAM door to reveal the RAM. Remove the existing DIMM by pulling both latches and lifting it out of the slot. To add a RAM, simply push it into the slot and press down until the latches click. After adding both DIMMs, you can put the RAM door back on and screw in the screws to secure it into place. Finally, put the battery back into place and lock it to make sure it's secure. Great, we're done upgrading the SSD and the RAM. With our upgrades finished, this laptop's hardware cost under $150, which puts it in the same price range as cheap, underpowered Chromebooks, which you can absolutely blow away in terms of performance. To install Windows on your new SSD, download the Windows Media Creation Tool from the link in the description. Then, plug a USB drive into your PC and launch the tool. Accept the license agreement and then choose to create installation media for another computer. Choose Windows 10 64-bit and click Next. Then, choose USB flash drive and choose your USB drive. Windows will be flashed to the drive. After the media creation tool is finished, eject and remove the USB. Then, insert it into your X220 and click the power button. When the installer has booted, begin going through the steps. Choose your language and keyboard layout and click Install Now. When it asks for a product key, click I don't have a key. You can activate after installation using the product key on the sticker under your battery. Choose Windows 10 Pro as the edition of Windows you want to install. Then, accept the software license terms. When asked about the install method, choose Custom. Choose your SSD as the install target and click Next. Windows will begin installing. After installation, it'll reboot. Then, you'll be able to choose your settings and Windows will finalize the installation.
After Windows is installed, you should install the tablet button and hotkey drivers, along with Lenovo Vantage for additional functionality and updates. We can now test some additional functions on this laptop to see how the performance compares to modern machines. As you can see from these Crystal Diskmark scores, the SSD performs greatly, resulting in a sub 15 second boot time. This is on par with most laptops that cost under $1,000 today. In addition to the blazing fast boot times and app load times, the i7 CPU can easily handle many tasks like video rendering, 3D design, and running virtual machines without throttling or getting too hot. In regular ThinkPad fashion, the keyboard is excellent. I can't really say about the Mac side of things, but this keyboard is miles better than any other PC I've ever used. The X220 also has physical track point buttons, unlike some models. I'm looking at you, T440. For regular use, you can expect to get about three to four hours of battery life out of this PC, which can be extended by the optional nine cell battery. An added plus to this tablet model is the touchscreen and digitizer, which can come in handy for a variety of uses like drawing and photo editing. The seller I bought this from didn't include the pen though, but you can always buy it separately later on. Video editing works well on this laptop and you can easily scroll through the timeline. HD playback also works without a hitch. If you regularly do photo or video editing though, I recommend that you connect an external monitor for better resolution and color accuracy, because even though the 720p IPS panel has great viewing angles, it isn't ideal for more demanding tasks. In conclusion, the ThinkPad X220 is a fast, portable, and extremely durable student laptop in 2020, which you can buy for about $100. I'll link the eBay listing I bought in the description, along with the links to the hotkey button software, Lenovo Vantage, and a download link for the Windows Media Creation Tool. As always, if you liked the video, drop a like down below and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching.